Okay, this video is going to be how to adjust a Masro clock drive. Uh, this is what the clock drive looks like when it's received before installation. Two motors, circuit board, hour motor button, minute motor button. What we need to do is we need to put the controller into a diagnostic mode. For a digital Chronobel 3, you simply press manual and you hold the delete button and you press Sunday, Saturday, Monday, Friday and it'll say Diag in the display. And come over here and press clock strike and what that will do is that'll basically stop this from sending data to the clock drives. Press the lowest bell button, it'll say 12 o'clock, press set two times. What that'll do is it'll set, send the motors when they're connected all the way to noon for the adjustments. Some Astro Tower clocks are controlled by a GPS. This one doesn't have a GPS at the moment, so it's going to give me dashed lines. To place it into test mode, where you want to check the hands, satellites, etc., press reset and hold the mode button. You'll get flashing lights. Press the home button, and it'll say 12, 1215, 1230, 1245. 12. Those are the positions that the hands will go into for adjusting the hands. To send those hands to those positions, simply press mode and it'll start swinging the hands around. So the hands are moving come over here you'll see that the lights are on indicating that the data is not correct for the hand position. Once they come around the lights will go out and then what I'll do is I'll perturb the hands. I'll actually set them off so that they're no longer at noon to show you how to do the noon adjustment. I'm going to pause this until they hit noon. Okay, They're almost at noon. They're coming up and around. Lights are out. Motor stopped. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get, go ahead and jog the hand out of place so you can see uh, how to adjust it. I can, so I can demonstrate how to adjust this. One of them I placed out of adjustment, the minute hand, and I sent the clock to noon. And the motors have stopped. And as you can see, the lights are out, indicating that data and, and wheel positions are matching, so they're correct. But the hands aren't matching because they're out of adjustment. So what we're going to do is we're going to take, and like I said, the minute hand is right here. And this is approximately five minutes out of alignment. And on these wheels, I don't know if you can see them or not, are little black tick marks. And you can use the edge of the plastic housing for uh, and for your measurement. So just loosen up just loosen up the Allen screw slightly and rotate the wheel five tick marks to get you close to the five minutes. And you want to rotate the hands or I'm sorry you want to rotate the sensor wheel in the same direction that the hand is either fast or slow. Uh, when you're working inside the tower, that can be confusing, and you can end up going clockwise when you need to go to counterclockwise. So I've done that. Now the sensor wheel is no longer at noon, but the hour is, so we don't need to worry about bumping the hour hand, because it's correct. We're going to come over here, and press stop one time, press the low bell button, set two times, and now our hands are, are rotating. There is a mark, you see this yellow mark that's coming up. I place that yellow mark there because it's hard to see. That's actually the 12 o'clock position in reference to this block. Now the hour hand is, is correct, so you can see where the hour hand position is. The minute hand wheel, when it comes around, will line up with that same mark. And again, the hour hand is not moving because it's already at noon. So the hands are coming to a stop. I actually adjusted it a little bit too much. That's quite alright. We'll come over here and we'll bump 
the minute hand until they line up. And as if you notice, as you notice, the light is still off. So I'm going to bump it slightly until the light turns on, and then we'll adjust the light wheel, the the sensor wheel, until that light turns off. Okay, I can't do this with two hands, so I'm going to let I'm going to put pause this and and do the adjustment. So the minute hand is lined up and we're adjusting the wheel and we're going to go to approximately the middle of the location where the where the light turns off because there's a little bit of play it will turn off uh, the motors approximately in that position and then we just tighten up our just snugly we don't want it real tight and we'll send everything around again so because it's the minute hand we're dealing with we're going to bump the minute hand on the minute button and just get it started so that it's no longer at noon when we tell it to swing around again. I'm going to uh, pause it until it's close. Okay, so we're coming up to noon and just a little too far. That's fine. So we were giving the idea of how to do this. Uh, We'll just rotate that wheel just a hair, probably only one tick mark, and uh, I'll send it around again. Here we're coming up on noon, and perfect. So there's, there's that. To take this out of diag mode, we simply press stop three times, and we're back into the normal mode and immediately the clocks will get data that send them back to their correct time position. So it's 348 according to the clock, so the hour hand is already stopped in the 3 position, and the minute hand will continue on until the 48 position. And that's all there is to it.